Hi, I'm Jessie Jane with Lily Shop and today we are making a Halloween appetizer with sage and fontina cheese grilled cheese sandwiches and mini blood shots. So let's get started. So we are going to start with our blood shots which are actually tomato soup. So to start the soup you need a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. This is kind of a trick on how to get some more flavor out of your canned tomatoes. So what you're gonna do is strain the tomatoes so you get most of the juice out. Just good, give it a good strain. And you're going to put them on a baking sheet and you're gonna put them in the oven for uh, 15 minutes, 450 degrees. And this gives it a little extra flavor since they're canned. So spread them out on the sheet and we're going to sprinkle with salt and pepper and some olive oil. So you kinda just wanna put the salt all over it, sprinkle with some olive oil, drizzle with olive oil. 450 degrees, 15 minutes, I'll be right back. So for the rest of the soup, we have to cook it on the stove top. So you wanna set your pan and put it on medium heat. And to this, we're going to add three tablespoons of butter, two cups of chicken broth, one small onion, and three cloves, cloves of minced garlic, and one cup of olive oil. Pour that in. To this, a pinch of sugar, and one bay leaf. And this is just gonna float around, you'll take it out at the end. Stir this around, we're going to take our roasted tomatoes out of the oven right now. They've caramelized, it has a nice color. It'll taste so much better, I promise. This step makes it much better. Put it right in to your pan. And we're gonna cook this down for about 15 minutes. Okay, so while the tomato soup is cooking, we're going to make our mini grilled cheese sandwiches. So, these are appetizer size, so keep the bread pretty thin. This is just a rustic bread. You can use sourdough if you want. And then we're gonna put a slice of cheese on the bread. This is a fontina cheese. It's kind of a fancy grilled cheese sandwich. So I'm gonna do, I don't know, like a half inch thick, the slice. And then we'll put it on the bread and layer it. Put your cheese on. Take a piece of sage, put it right in the middle. And then you're gonna take an heirloom tomato. These are so pretty. And you're going to cut one thin little slice and put it right between and then we're going to grill them back over on the stove. Our tomato soup is still cooking down. So I'm going to use my panini press and put the grilled cheese sandwiches right on this. You're going to butter the bread on both sides. Okay, and put it down. If you don't have a panini press, that's okay. You can use a pan. Be generous with the butter. Put the top on, squish them down. They should cook for, you know, one to two minutes. You don't want to burn them, just until the cheese is melted. Check on our soup. This has been on for about 15 minutes. So we're going to add the rest of the broth. And again, let it sit for 15 minutes. The longer you let this sit, the better it is. It just absorbs all the flavor of the garlic and the onion, and then we're gonna throw it through a blender when we're all done. So if you're making this for a party, you wanna make it like two hours before and just let it simmer on your stove top. You know, there's no rush, there's no rush. Just make it earlier in the day and let it sit. Tomato soup's done, so remember to take out your bay leaf before you put it in the blender, because you don't want to crush that up. Ah, oh, perfect. 
You want to blend it until it's completely smooth. So I'm gonna pour it into our little mini mason jars. If you have shot glasses, that's perfect too. You can make little shots. Pour it half up. Serve it with a little spoon in each one. Just take your grilled cheese sandwich, put it on top. I got these little frilly toothpicks at the Halloween store. Put it right in. How cute is that? And there you go. Mini grilled cheese sandwiches with Halloween tomato soup. If you want more recipes like this, please subscribe. See you next time.